Okay, boys and girls in first grade, and welcome back to your grade level link. And today I have our guest artist. His name is Christian. He's in first grade at Evans Park in Miss Pandit's class. Can you say hi, Christian? Hi. Hey, and I see you have your brother Alex there, and I know Alex because he's in third grade at Evans Park, and his class is Mrs. Pollock. Hi. Okay, great. I'm so glad you guys are able to join me today. So what we're going to do is we're going to be taking our bottle today, and I have a water bottle here, and I do have your bottle there. I see it in the corner. They're here. Okay, so boys and girls, what we're going to do is we're going to take our gallon bottle and we're going to create a monster or a head or a face with a big wide mouth and we can keep it at home and we can store things inside. I was looking online and I was getting all kinds of inspiration and one of the things I saw that a, another artist made was a monster that you keep your socks inside of. So I thought that was kind of cool. I'm going to make mine into a sock monster. I don't know what, do you guys have any ideas what you might want to make? Um, a jug. Yeah, we, um, I was thinking we should probably make it like a piggy bank, sort of. Yeah, that's a great idea. Maybe with a big mouth so you can like throw the coins inside of it. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, um, see, you're looking at the bottle differently than I am because I was thinking of creating a mouth, but you're creating the open and using the hole that's already there. So that's a good idea. All right, so boys and girls at home, what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you how to kind of get started with making your monster. And Christian and Alex are going to work on theirs too. So before I show you what they're going to do, let's take a look at my bottle and get some ideas. So and I'm going to turn it back that way because I want my mouth to have a nice big opening. So while I'm showing the boys and girls at home, Christian and Alex are going to look at their bottle and come up with some thoughts and then they're going to show us what they create. So I'm going to use this circle right here in my bottle. Now not every bottle has that circle, but I'm going to use it because sometimes looking at a shape is a great way to get started. So I'm going to use that circle. And I'm going to draw around. Do you, Christian and Alex, do you see what I did? Yeah. Okay. So you can see using this circle here kind of gave me a starting point for my mouth. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and connect it here to make the top of his mouth. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a wiggly line and do something like that. You see how it looks like the top of his mouth now? Yeah. Okay. And now, I think I'll take this and I'll draw it around the bottom. And now I can see a nice big mouth. Do you see my mouth? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at Christian and Alex's bottle now. And do you guys see where you might be able to draw a mouth on yours? I think we should put, like, one... One C right here, then one C right here, and then um, connect connect them like you did, but not using the little um, circle that was already on the bottle. Okay, that's a great idea. Now, Christian and Alex, you guys don't have to make the shape that I made. You might want to make a big circle or something that has jagged teeth. That's up to you. So you guys think about that, and I'm going to show the boys and girls at home the next step on how to cut out the opening, okay? Christian and Alex, did you guys come up with a mouth on your face? Yes. So let's see, what did you design? Um, pointy teeth. Yeah, that looks great. Teeth. Christian, you have Alex there who can help us out on your end, and I'm gonna start by just making a little cut into my milk container just like that. And then I'm going to put my scissors inside and I'm going to follow my black line and cut out my mouth. You got it, Alex? Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right, so Christian, let's see you cut out the mouth, okay? I'm just cutting the outside of the mouth. Oh, I'm cutting out the mouth may be a little tricky. So if you can't get it on your own, you can certainly ask an adult to help you get started. Or like Christian, he has his older brother there who can help.
you guys have a dog or a cat at home? No. Oh, just no. We used to have three fishes. Two of them died. Now we only have one. Oh, really? What kind of fish is it? Goldfish. Oh. It lives so long. We're going gonna, gonna to make it have a birthday. All right, so boys and girls, now what we're going to do is now that Christian and Alex have their mouth cut out and I have mine cut out, we're going to talk about how we can decorate this at home. So, boys, what kind of stuff do you have that you can use to decorate your bottle monster? Um, we have paint, uh, paper, construction paper, and eyeballs, and like a squishy eyeball. Oh, cool. Okay, I see. What's that cardboard stuff up in the front there you have? Oh, this? It just can make your we little were, horns on it. Like, we were planning to put horns on it like that. Wow, that's a really good idea. See, or, look what I have. I have tissue paper at home, like this here, and I have construction paper, and I also have Elmer's glue, or this is uh, tacky glue. Do you guys have Elmer's glue? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we have Elmer's glue. Two or three. Okay, so the fun part about this project is that all the monsters are going to look different. So you can try to paint your monster or you can try to cover it with the tissue or construction paper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let Christian and Alex have a few minutes to think about their ideas. And in the meantime, I'm gonna show you some things on mine to get you started off, okay? So one of the things I wanna show you is a little trick called decoupage. And decoupage is when you take glue and you can put it onto the bottle. Christian and Alex, do you guys see that at home? Yeah, we see it. Yeah. Yeah. And I can take a paintbrush and I can just brush the glue onto the, onto the bottle. See how I did that? Yeah, you see. And I can take tissue paper or newspaper or magazine if I wanted, if I don't have the art supplies at home. And I can put them on like that. And I can just put a little glue on top to hold it. And I'm now able to give him a color without having to use paint. So to do eyes on my mask, I have some colored paper. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some eyes on this piece of paper. Do you guys like this color? Yeah. Yeah, we, I have orange. Which one do you like? I have orange, yellow, green, red, purple, or blue? Um, red. 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 Okay, so he's going to look angry. So I can take markers and I can decorate. You guys see my pupils? Yeah. yeah. So I have colored marker here so I can color maybe the middle of his eye the eyes onto the bottle. You guys at home see that too? And you can cut out arms. So maybe here's a nice little... You guys see this hand here? Yeah, we see the hand. And I can glue the hand to the back of the bottle. Do you see that? Yeah, we see that. So I can glue and create a really cool face by just using paper. So I am so curious to see what Christian and Alex are going to come up with. And I think this was a great start to our project. So Christian, do you have a lot of ideas in your mind now? Yeah. What I do is we're going to let Christian and Alex work. And they're going to send a picture to me at T at ProRiver.org. And if you master the project at home too, you can certainly send me a photo as well. Also, if you master your milk container monster and you'd like to try more projects you can certainly click on other grade level links to see what they're doing as well please make sure that you are filling out the google form page that is located on the home page of my website so christian did you have fun today yeah okay and i want to thank alex for joining in too i know your class is going to be excited to see you as well yeah all right so boys and girls Let's thank Christian and Alex today, and I can't wait to see their project. 
and tune in next week when we'll have more fun online in art. Bye. Bye, uh, Christian. Bye, Alex. I'll see you soon. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.